Next I think I'll make a couple cuts using the uh, carbide uh, cutoff tools and uh, this is one made by Iskar and the tool holder is held in one of my Aloris holders. These are replaceable inserts and they come in a pack like this. They're quite expensive by the way. They're probably ten dollars a pop and I think this tool holder is probably a hundred dollars. So this, somebody gave me this. I, I couldn't afford this. Uh, but uh, this is a uh, gotta get it right here. This is a uh, ISCAR that stands for Israeli Carbide Company. And uh, notice that when you turn this upside down it says Judah. Coincidence, huh? The thing about these carbide tips is that uh, if I can get one here and it shows up, you see the little groove in the middle there? It kind of curls the chip so the chip becomes a little narrower than the groove and the chip can escape real easily. This is a different size than the one I was just showing you. I don't have a holder for this, it's just a, an oddball that I've got. But when you buy these, they come with a little extractor tool and you put it in there if you want to remove this and you just turn it and that pops it out. And then when you put them in there, they're really self-tightening. You just put it in there, get it started, and uh, I like to tap it with a piece of wood gently and the more you use it, the tighter it'll get but that's all there is to changing those. They really cut nice. I did have this end break off on me once, so this end is ruined. That's quite some time ago. I don't remember exactly what happened. Notice that it says self-grip on there. Iskar self-grip. There's many other companies that make these as well, but I like the Iskar. Now we'll step over to the lathe and make a cut with the Iskar. One thing I forgot to mention that some of you guys are probably trying to cut off material of uh, unknown quality or, or, or as to what alloy it is and there are some alloys you're just going to have a heck of a time cutting them off and uh, that may also be your trouble. We're back to 7 8 aluminum, 600 RPM, 6000 feed with the Iskar cutoff tool and the first one I'll do is uh, I'll hand feed it. Some of your later machines you may want to lock their carriage. Now I'm going to use the power feed. And uh, see how fast that went? I know it is soft material, but that uh, is kark really cuts nice. I'll just summarize now the different things that you need to make sure you do in order to be successful at uh, cutting off or parting. Number one, make sure your tools on center. I mean dead on center. You might have some people that will tell you uh, uh, something other, but, but try this. Make sure your tool is perfectly square with the work, not at an angle. Get the correct speed and the correct feed and those can be looked up, but uh, a lot of that is just common sense. If it's soft material, feed it uh, and speed it fast. If it's harder material, slow. Uh, feed uh, fairly fast if you're doing it by hand. Uh, don't baby it. I think I forgot to put on here, uh, okay, make sure you use lots of oil or lubricant, whatever your favorite is. There should be a minimum overhang of the stock uh, where, you, where you make your cut. Choke it up close to the uh, chuck. You don't want much overhang. It will vibrate like crazy. Also, minimum uh, overhang of the tool. Don't have any more sticking out here than the slightly more than the radius of uh, the stock that you're cutting off. Make sure everything is tight and rigid on your lathe and in your setup and your tool holder. 
sharpen your tool. You know, you can sharpen those tools, I'm serious when I say in 10 seconds on your grinder. 10 seconds. That is if it hasn't been broken off. Uh, use a, uh, a good tool holder. That's really the key to it right there. But I, I, I know it's be pretty hard to ask your wife to buy you a set of these. And uh, practice it on various uh, types of material. One other thing I was going to tell you, uh, do a Google search of uh, Atlas Cutoff Tools and that's where it will give you a PDF file of the original Atlas instructions that came with their cutoff tool and it, uh, it's kind of interesting to read even though it's rather archaic. I hope all of this was helpful uh, to you for something that has been a perennial problem with all of us home machinists. But I guarantee you one thing that even since during the time that you are watching this video, uh, millions of pieces have been cut off on automatic lathes. Now they're tremendously rigid and they have a lot of coolant and everything going over them, but uh, this bar stock is cut off uh, in this manner uh, constantly by the millions so it can be done. This is Tubal Keynes signing out saying so long.